Hello, my name is Leah. Obviously, I love reading because this is a booktube channel. Like, all of us on booktube love reading. But alongside that, something that I absolutely love is writing. And I've talked about that on my channel. I've done, like, writing vlogs and stuff like that. But there are a ton of bookish subscription boxes. Like, we've all watched the unboxings for, like, Fairy Loot and Owl Crate and stuff like that. And so whenever I heard that there was a subscription box for writers, Boy, I was so excited. I've been holding off on getting one for a while, even though like I've wanted one since this box came into existence, but I finally ordered a Scribbler box. So today I'm going to be unboxing the October Scribbler box. If you don't want any spoilers, you can click off the video. You literally have no idea how hard it has been for me to not open this box until I got a chance to sit down and film this video. Like, I'm very proud of myself, to be completely honest. Let's go. I'm going to just cut through the tape because the last time I tried to like do the thing where you slice through it, um, I like accidentally cut the dust jacket for Crooked Kingdom. So we're just gonna be a little bit more careful this time. It's open. Let's go, let's go. What's inside? Let's look, let's look, let's look. Ta-da! I see black and orange, so I'm assuming Halloween stuff which makes sense for October and then we've got this little note card which has these cute little bats on it and there's like a skull on the other side but this is a writing prompt which from what they I've seen they have a writing prompt in all of the scribbler boxes so that'll be a good warm-up to do like someday right before I sit down to write and then the first thing I see chilling right here is muse fuse it's a candle and it has sparkles in it Ooh, that smells really good. It says it has coffee, vanilla, and orange, and it's a soy candle called Muse Fuse. I can definitely smell the coffee and I can definitely smell the manila. Manila? Vanilla. We have been burning candles like crazy around my apartment, so this is gonna be great to like put in the bathroom or something. It does smell very fall, so that's good. And then we're gonna get rid of all this. Maybe we'll maybe we'll put it up here for now. All right, so next we've got some stuff in here. First thing is the writing passport, which this month's theme for the box is about plotting. But every month, okay, I'm gonna take this off. I, I can't <laughs> pretend to be serious with this on top of my head. But every month the author of the book that's included writes a like short little essay for the people that gives like tips and teaches you how to do writing things. So this month's is by Roberta Br Bride Brinza. Rob, no, Robert, not Roberta. The next thing is this little envelope that says writer magic inside, which is cute. Let's open this up. I think this is the like live stream invitation thing. Sweet. So this says exclusive chat with Lindsay Rose. Okay, so Lindsay Rose is a senior editor at Grand Central publishing. So that's cool. This is like an invitation to a live stream chat thing with an editor. The next thing I see in the box is this. This is hard to hold the box up like this. Okay, so this is just like a little journal. I love the colorful little skull. This is very on theme for Halloween, but it's also just like cute in general, you know what I mean? All right, getting more of these little fuzzy things out. So next I see like some little knickknacks. This one is, okay, it's a temporary tattoo that says your story matters. That's something that I think a lot of writers, including myself, definitely need a reminder of, is that your story matters. Like it's so easy whenever you're writing to just feel so insecure and doubt yourself because there's so many like published authors, writers in general who are just so amazing and you're like, how can I ever live up to them? My life has been boring. I don't have a story to tell, but like everyone has a story to tell. So I like this. That's a that's a cute little reminder. Next, we have King Gaiman. And then the quote up here says, we who make stories know that we tell lies for a living. I have no idea who King Gaiman is. Um, I'm assuming it has something to do with the book of the month. Then next we have some more pens by Half Price Books. And these are super cute, I love these. This one is like a typewriter and it says hashtag am writing on it. That's just like the and sign, obviously. Here's some words and like notes or whatever. And then this one says, tell your story with a pencil. I will definitely be putting at least one of these onto my backpack with my other pens, so that's fun. Next, we have this thing. What is this thing? Let's find out. Okay, so 
This on the back has like what's in the box, so I'm not gonna read the rest of that because there's still stuff in here that I haven't looked at yet. But basically the rest of this is like a look at the publishing process in a sense. And it includes some of the copy edits that Robert Brinza, the author of this month's book of the month, got while he was writing this book. Okay, and it says this is the first time that they've shared copy edits, which is cool. So yeah. Ooh. Next we have a bookmark from The Night Stalker, which at this point I figured out the book this month is The Night Stalker by Robert Brinza. So that's cool. I'll use this while I'm reading the book. And then we have a signed book plate by him, which I can peel off and put into the book. Also cool. I don't think I have a single signed book from any authors, which is really upsetting. And then finally, well, not finally, but we have The Night Stalker by Robert Brinza. Let's read what this is about real quick so I can give you a summary. Okay, so this is a detective story, which sounds fun. I don't really normally read a bunch of detective stories, but... I can see why something like this would be a great book to read whenever you're talking about plotting because like mysteries and detective stuff, they have got to bury a lot of clues in the beginnings before the actual like big reveal at the end. But basically this is about a detective named Erica Foster who goes to a murder scene, the victim is found suffocated in bed with wrist bounds and eyes bulging through a clear plastic bag. Basically she ends up finding a few other victims in the same way so they know they have a serial killer that they're dealing with and it's a race to find the serial killer before her own life is in danger. So sounds lots of fun and I will be looking forward to getting to this. And then there's two other things in here. This is a sneak peek at the book Save the Cat which I already have because I'm a film major and that's like required reading everywhere at any film school basically. But Save the Cat is like a really really great book that deals with plotting and writing and it talks about beat structure specifically really well. Oh and then the last thing is just like a promotional thing for half price books so note that everything's 20% off on November 23rd. So you, you heard that from me guys. So yeah, that is everything in the Scribbler box for this month. I'm really glad that I got this actually. I normally don't read this kind of book, but I am like interested in expanding like the genres that I read because I know I need to stop reading YA fantasy all the time. And it does sound interesting, so I think it'll be a good one. But that is all that I have for you today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon, bye.